Are you sorry for what has happened? To, to, to who? To, to, for what? I'm, I'm sorry. I... What has happened in America? World the genocide. Are you don't you, you don't know about it? Well, no, I do. I don't. I don't know what, what what you're trying to refer to. Any genocide, you flip a coin and name it. I yeah. believe in this thing man that's right, right? That's right. we truly believe that the lord gonna come back destroy the nations are we gonna round them up all right we gonna put them in slavery are we gonna rule over them man forever that's right. and, ever? and we truly believe in this thing Bring right? it out. we not half assing it right He said he's gonna leave your name for a curse. So when I ask how y'all nationality, you know what y'all say? Oh, I'm black. Or I'm black black. Or I'm brown. Or I'm a, a African American. Or I'm an American black. No, that's a curse. He said he's gonna leave your name for a curse. He's gonna leave Israel for a curse. So people think that they got wisdom of this world because they know trigonometry, because they know uh, geometry. Right. That, that's not the wisdom of the Lord, man. The Lord don't care about anything in Babylon. He doesn't care about uh, being able to, to finesse people, to be able to get over on people, to uh, apply usury to people. Gonna have that demon when you go home for throwing that down the most high next time you look at a cigarette it might make you throw up right next time you might think about something the most high put a spirit on you that you don't ever think about doing that again brother right so you got to have faith and fear in the most high that when you go home you will never do these things again that's right all, all of this would have been for a waste brother In the Bible, I do. Okay, okay. What's what's the question that you had? I, I just didn't hear what you. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. Sorry, I just didn't hear what you're saying, so I just want you to hear. Okay. Yeah. You want to hear something? Well, you, you could flip a coin and pull something. <laughs> give me a, <laughs> give me Isaiah 14:21. Well, I I I thought I heard Bible. And I, 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 yeah, yeah. We we talking about the Bible. We talking about the Bible. Oh, uh, we gonna we gonna read something here, and we gonna. See if you ever heard this before. 1421. This is the book of Isaiah to the 14 and verse number 21. And it read you 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 believe in our old testament? All right. Prepare slaughter for his children. Do what? Prepare slaughter for his children. So have you ever read that before? Prepare slaughter for his children? I've I've read it, yeah. What does the next verse say? I've read it. I don't know it word for word. What, it, it pertains to you and your people, so I just want to make sure that's clear. Say, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. Do you know why it says prepare slaughter for the iniquity of your fathers? Give me Galatians 6 and 7. I'm, I'm asking you, do you know why it's telling you to do? Do I know why it says prepare for the slaughter of your fathers? Prepare slaughter for the iniquity of your fathers. So iniquity is sin. So prepare slaughter for the sins that your forefathers have committed on the earth. Yeah. Uh, because sin is a not only a hereditary but it is an everlasting problem and, and issue. And, and, and you got to deal for what your forefathers have done. Your forefathers have ran out on the tab. And you got to pay for it. Because the crimes that your forefathers have committed, there has never been any kind of consequences or repercussions behind what they have done. There's never been any justice. You believe in justice, right? So what has happened for the, the 400 years of rape, rob, and murder that your people have done upon this earth and continue to do to this day? Because God is a he's, a, he's a man of a just balance, isn't he? Yeah, I, I would believe so. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And forgiveness, yeah. And forgiveness, but forgiveness to who? To all who believe to his people but we're, we're gonna we're gonna read this galatians 6 and 7 be not deceived god is not marked god, god is not mocked you can't mock the most high god 
what? For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So whatever you sow, you must reap. We gonna line these two up with each other. Cause it's a precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Line upon line. God is not mocked whatever a man soweth, that shall he reap it. Your forefathers are not here no more. They ran out on a tab and that tab is still open. They, they died. They died. So you must pay for the iniquities of your forefathers, as it says in Isaiah 14 and 21. That's right. How do you feel about that? Um, Are you sorry for what has happened? To, to, to who? To, to, for what? I'm, I'm sorry. I... What has happened in America? World the genocide. Uh, even, you, you don't you don't know about it? Well, I, I do. I don't I don't know what, what, what you're trying to refer to. Any genocide. You flip a coin and name it. I, yeah, it probably shouldn't have happened. That, that sucks. Do you feel sorry for it? Yeah. That, that, yeah. The uh, slaughter of people that are innocent is absolutely wrong at all times. Huh? The, the slaughter of innocent is absolutely wrong at all times. Absolutely. Now, so we... We, we've been here and we're sorry for the past, we don't know how long. We kind of tired of, uh, I'm sorry. And then, and then give me give me Isaiah 55 and uh, 20. And I'm just gonna show you why, because you don't have a track record of being the nicest people on the face of the earth. You don't have a track record of keeping the word that you, that you say. Y'all are uh, quote unquote, not men of your word. You know what I mean? You have made a thousand, 55 and 20. Is that what I said? Yeah, Psalms 55 and 20. Uh, Psalms. So, you know, the, the treaties that your forefathers have made, hey, it has been with the, with the uh, Native Americans. Thousands of treaties. What happened? They broke every last one. There wasn't one that they kept. So, your people doesn't have a track record of being honest. Okay. So, okay. we're going we gonna to read this real quick. Uh, what, what's your ethnicity uh, beyond mommy asking? My ethnicity? Yeah. Uh, I am German and Slavic. Done. We will read this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse number 20. He has put forth his hands against such as, so like it, verse 21. The, so like it, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. So y'all came to us with nice smooth words. Hey, we just want to trade this for this. And we just, that's what y'all did to the Native Americans, right? And and, and, and y'all 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 did it with us in a sense because y'all reprogrammed our minds and told us, hey, y'all were swinging on trees, eating shit and slop, and we saved y'all from that. Y'all should be happy that you came over here on the boat, we enslaved you, and we fed you, and we gave you a place to sleep. That's what y'all told us, keep reading. So like if the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but the war, but war was in his heart. But what? But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. But y'all were drawing swords on us. Y'all stabbed us in the back. Y'all murdered us at every corner y'all could. What, what you say you were? I'm, I'm German and Slavic. Who's? Your people. My, my, who's us? Who's, who's, oh, who's us? read it again. It says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Right? That's it. That's it. What does it say us at? It don't say us. What are you talking about? It's because he's asking, who is the us you keep referring to? Which you the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. So them are the people that y'all live, I mean, I, I thought that was plain, but you know, the uh, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics who y'all have put in captivity, trotted down, beat up, you know, uh, done a whole bunch of atrocities to, would you agree that, that, that they were wrong? Yeah, no, absolutely. Now, if you're gonna be a man of your word, because like I said, we tired of hearing we, we're just sorry, we want action behind it. We want right. us to show that you're sorry. Are you willing to do that? Absolutely. Are you willing to be honest? Are you willing to keep your word? Give me this, Isaiah 49, 23. This is how you can show you sorry, and this is what the Lord says. Isaiah 49 and 23. And king shall be thy nursing fathers, and thy queen thy nursing mothers. Because we were your guys' nursing fathers and your nursing mothers in slavery. Read. Thou shalt bow down to thee with their face towards the ground. So if you were sorry, you would do what that says. You would bow down to the men of the Lord with your face towards the ground. Are you willing to do that? To, am I willing to get on the ground and worship you are, all? It's not worship. Are you willing to bow down with your face towards the ground 
for the atrocities that your forefathers have committed if you are truly sorry. I would, I would ask you to repeat that because I don't, Read it again. I don't think that's what that says. Isaiah 49 and 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and thy queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee. So who who was the nursing mothers that we were that that was to your people? Who's the kings on the face of the earth right now? Well, they, like, are you asking physical? Like, who is the royal family? Or did, did we have to do this to y'all? Do you know what the root word of slavery is? Did we have to bow down to them? What is? The, do you do you? Do know we have to do that to y'all? No. I, I say some do you know what the root word of slavery is? What is it? It's slob. Madness. Slob is the root word of slavery. What does that have to do with anything? Where did I say my ancestry came from? Slavic. I'm not trying to say that I have felt anything close to what you guys did, or your aunt, your forefathers have. Felt. So what are we doing? But I don't feel that I need to. You Jewish? No, sir. I don't feel that I. I'm Christian. I don't feel that I need to bow to y'all. I. So you're not sorry for what your forefathers have done? I am. So I'm proud. No. Give me, give me Proverbs sixteen and eighteen. Yes, you are, because the Lord says, "A hey, your kings will be our nursing fathers and mothers." Okay. Who are the kings and the queens? Who's Queen Elizabeth? Who's that? She's the Queen of England. Who is she? I've never. Read She's that. a so-called white woman. I don't. She ain't the Queen of England. She was the Queen of Elizabeth. Spain. Elizabeth. Elizabeth second and first. The Queen Elizabeth was the, the Queen of the uh, of, of Spain okay. and exposed Jews who are the so-called black people. You know what I'm saying from Spain and Portugal, right? When uh, when Christopher Columbus came here in 1482, right? And so like it came came here in 1482 to the uh, to the west coast of Africa to the slave coast, the Gold Coast, the Kingdom of Judea, right? And they picked, and they, and it's what, and they, and they, and they, and they made a treaty with the Africans over there who sold Israelites who fled in 70 AD to West Africa in the hills, you know what I'm saying, and, and came to West Africa and dwelt in their land, right? And so they made a treaty with the daggone Africans that was over there through this, through the, uh, through Queen Isabella and her expulsion of the Jews and her, and her, uh, and, uh, and her funding the, uh, the expedition for Christopher Columbus over there in 1482 when they came over there. They got the they got the uh, the uh, the West African people that dwelled in that land to guess what to form a treaty with them uh, to form a, uh, some type of uh, a deal with them for rum and guns so they could finish fighting off each other in that land so that's what they said they're gonna sell the Israelites the people of Judea right to the so-called Grecians the so-called white people right because that's what they thought they all was they thought they was all Grecians. Right? But Queen Isabella wasn't a Grecian. She was a so-called Roman woman. She was an a, a Italian woman. You know what I'm saying? So Christopher Columbus and them, they gathered all this up. Made, they, made us, they made us work and build up a castle. We thinking it was just because we was doing a good thing. No, we built up a daggone prison to, guess what, hold our people in that so-called white people did. You can look this up in history. So-called white people that are gonna put us in, it's a place called Elmina Castle over there in Ghana, which place which, which place they call Guinea now, or New Guinea, right? It's called Elmina Castle, where they put thousands of Israelite men and women, right? And they raped uh, men, they raped, they butt broke men, raped women, and killed children over there. Right? And they stuffed us on slave boats that was funded by the so-called white people and shipped us to the Americas. And then when they got over here to the Americas in 1492, right, right, they saw the Arawak Indians over there and the Carib Indians over there who are called Tainos and the Aegites, right? And they guess what they did to them? They took the Indians, the so-called Indians who are Israelites of the Northern Kingdom and shipped them back to Spain, right? White people did this. White people. We didn't sell ourselves into slavery. Africans. 
Africans sold our people to your people. This is why Africans come over here from Africa and they dwell and thrive in this land to this day. And, and, and in the sub-Saharan slave trade, the Ottoman Empire, the Ottoman Turks, right? They also had a, a, a hand in slavery called the sub-Saharan slave trade, right? Well, guess what? White people, the Slavics, the Germans, right? They was with that as well, right? That's what happened. So the scriptures that we was bringing out is talking about your people. So if you feel sorry for that, like the scriptures say, like the brother just, bought, like the Lord just brought out, like the brother just brought out, the words of the Most High God say, if you feel sorry for what was done, right? You, right, could show it, but not just, but because we always say, oh yeah, we, well it wasn't me, it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't do it, right? But if you say you feel sorry for what happened. The Lord said, hey, you will bow down. Not to worship, but to show it as an action. Are you sorry, brother? Are you sorry, Esau? Are you sorry? Are you sorry? You're not sorry. You proud. Hey, give me the book, uh, give me the book right quick. I don't want to shake your hand. Last time you shook our hand, y'all stabbed us in the back. Come and hear the words of the Lord since the two minutes. Two minutes. I run that country club. Two, two minutes, sister. Did you get a flyer? Get a flyer, sister. And come back and hear the words of the Lord. You know how you can help us? By, by don't, donate to our call for we deliver our people out of this, uh, uh, this captivity. Like, the brother gonna give you uh, 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 his cash out, bro, and, and you can donate. And that's, I'm, that's how you I'm can help offering us. to give you we don't want we don't want what you got to offer because that's what your people did the last time. That's what we just brought out. Could you give me that book right quick? So like, I ain't trying to take over, but give me that in Psalms right quick. Psalms 55 and 21. Because what you're doing right now is what just happened right here in that book, in the book of Psalms. When you can when y'all people came over here to the to the Native American people and said, hey, we're gonna hey, in the name of civilization, you enslaved us with civilization. In the name, it came over here in the name of civilization. I was trying to right, and our people were and our people been civilized. Our people been civilized. Would you say like how the brother brought out how y'all been saying? That's why they even made the movie damn so called Tarzan, man. You know what I'm saying? Got got a so called white man running around with monkeys, right? Beating up monkeys in the daggone jungle, man. And, and guess who? And guess who those monkeys was? Negroes. That they was beating up. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all came over here, when y'all came over here in this land, y'all enslaved our people, y'all came over here and y'all daggone gave us diseases because of your people's diseases out here. But there wasn't no damn pig out here in America. There wasn't no damn pig. There wasn't no rat out here until your people came. There wasn't no roaches and mosquitoes. Your people brought that. You know what I'm saying? Your people brought disease here. Right? Bring this up. This is the book of Isaiah, uh, Psalm chapter 55 and verse 20. He had put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. Peace with him. Hey, you put forth your hand and such that put, hey, we was at peace. We was at peace with your people. Bring it out. He has broken his covenant. What he do? He has broken his covenant. He speak with a fifth tongue. Talk about something. I just want to shake your hand. I don't want to shake your hand. I don't want to shake the so-called white man hand, man. Nobody want to shake your hand because what happened when we shook your hand? You stand us in the back. You damn Edomite, you go into slavery. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The what? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. I just want to help you guys out with something that's greater. What do you say? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. In the name of civilization, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk about the damn Jesus in the back, man. The damn slave boat. Bring it up. But war was in his heart. But what? But war was in his heart. Yeah, so when we built up that damn Alme in the castle, man, and your people put us in it and packed us like a pack of sardines, man. Bring it up. His words were softer than oil. What do you say? His words were softer than oil. Look at him cramming himself in the back seat like a damn heathen, man. Hopping in the damn clown car, man. Hey. Come and hear the words of the Lord, sister. Two minutes. We out here for you. Two, two minutes. Yeah, for, especially for you, specifically. Come and hear the words of the Lord, sister. Come on. Two minutes. We love you. Come on. Don't let don't let Satan pull you away from the world, sister. Come on. Uh, can, I, can I play a song? Don't take pictures of me. I'm literally a celebrity, so don't take pictures. Uh, they got it right. <laughs> no pictures. I'm not even kidding. What's your nationality? What nation of people you come from? You said what? Native American. 
Like which which one? Which tribe? You got the Apache. Apache. You said the first one. Father. What's the, what's your father's race? Um, he's half black or African American and half. What's your African grandfather? Apache. Your grand. And Comanche, see that? All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. We got the North the Kingdom six out here, man. What her? What's your nationality? What nation of people you come from? Um, the U.S. nation. You white? I'm white. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right, man. That's petty. She, it's not petty. She supports Black Lives Matter. They, what? She supports Black Lives Matter. How do our life matter? How do our, our life don't matter to them? To her. My life matters. To our life don't matter to them, cause hey, cause look, cause listen, cause I look, I, I, let, I, let, I bet, I bet if it was her on this hopping block, I, I bet she wouldn't risk her life for you. Yes, she would. No, she wouldn't. She already did. No, she didn't. She did. No, she, she won't, she won't risk her life for you. Yeah, the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? She wouldn't risk her life for you. You know, you know what her people did to your people? Oh my God, really? Man. You know, you know what her, you know what her family did to your people? Brought, hey, brought disease to your people. Brought disease to your people. All right, take a picture Alicia. of me. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they people thrive off the, off the backs of your people's slavery. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. Two minutes, brother. Two minutes, brother and sister. Two minutes, we out here for you. Y'all want to hear the words of the Most High God? Y'all want to know who y'all are in these last days? Y'all want, 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 come on, man, we your people. What you hear, brother? So I like it, man. You got it, brother. I ain't mean to take over. I'll pray to the most high. Overcame Babylon, we Israel, now we gird it up Ever since we came into the truth, we got our birdies up Eat this Mac, think you funny, watch how it'll burn you up I live three miles down, by the Sabbath journey up Esau see us coming up, just watch how we just turn him up In the kingdom, keep the law, we gon' have him double dutch Occupy till I come, go ahead and eat this honey up Anytime I see a blood moon, it got me jumping up Esau doing coke, yeah, now he fanny up I done got my spirit up, now let's just see what's up